Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? And the people not be afraid? Dreams. American dreams. Awake, thou that sleepest. Wake up. Open your eyes. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Are we dreaming? Oh, I can hear. I can hear you. I can hear. Mm, I can hear. Pretend. I hear when you. Pretend that everything's okay. It's spiritual. Shalom, family. Welcome to Shattered Paradise. They cannot intrude here. Somebody got to tell the truth. And I'm going to tell it. Ex expose them. The creator is higher than the creation. Earth and stone. Earth and stone. As we pass the halfway mark, in the Gregorian year of 2022, we the people are in the crosshairs like never before. There are so many sights, scopes, and red dots aimed from every direction, all converging on a single point, the heart of mankind. And man, I gotta tell you, humanity has never been such a soft target. 42 years after the unveiling of the granite monolith Known as American Stonehenge, we have just witnessed the complete destruction of the Georgia Guidestones. Regardless of who destroyed the monument, our adversaries are striking back because they know that they have but a short time. There's no doubt that Satan's kingdom is being torn down, but the seducing spirit that walks to and fro on the earth has a plan. This is my shop, House Witch Home and Healing. Come on in. We sell spell kits, magical cleaning products, candles, crystals. My name is Melissa Madera. I'm a botanist and a witch. Catland is an interface, occult community space and shop. We have a witch shop on one side where we have pretty much anything a working witch would need. A lot of little labeled jars of oils, crystals. So my, my spiritual journey yes. led me to open yeah. a crystal shop. And I think that was all divinely aligned, you oh, know, wow. because it was like, I had this experience. Yes. Now it's time to share it with the rest of the world. Um, I did some research. Uh -huh. I found out that the heart chakra was the chakra that controls your heart. Yeah. I started meditating with it, um, taking naps with it. I carried it with me in my purse oh, and my I just gosh. would do everything with my rose quartz. Yes. You brought in several women who have different specialties as well. Absolutely. Really. Uh, tell me about what you work with. Some of the crystals that I utilize are going to be the jade, rose quartz, and amethyst. I offer um, Reiki healing. I also offer guided meditations. And then I also offer um, intuitive um, oracle readings, oh, wow. um, which uh, sometimes I utilize the cards if I don't get an immediate connection. I'm a conduit for the energy to come through from for guidance from your ancestors, your spiritual guides. One of the interesting things about and when you see in sort of uh, theological Satanism, uh, when people are knowingly dealing with demons and things, is that they do a lot of rituals to attach demons to objects. They are attaching demons when they attach energy to crystals, or if it's a very energized crystal, you're, you're uh, seeing a very demonized crystal. There's sometimes it's called orgone or organite or whatever. I had an email one time from somebody who had bought one of these uh, things from a website, and as soon as he brought it into his room, he started having immensely powerful uh, sleep paralysis experiences, you know, uh, seeing the demons, you know, in his room. They were messing with him and all kinds of stuff. It went on for a week till he realized it was the thing that he bought, this organite. He looked on the back of it, had apparently been quote unquote blessed by a Reiki, you know, a, you know, process of some sort. So what now being, uh, have sort of seen it in retrospect, what do you view the crystal power is all about? It's all demonic. Uh, telepathic communication with these beings told me how what crystals to go get and how to set them up in different um, formats and different ways to open portals that we needed a gateway for them to be able to come in and out disregarding the natural purpose of Yah's creation 
They mine the earth in order to forge new weapons. Weapons carved from precious stones, rare minerals, and exotic materials just discovered by man. A new black mirror, a new crystal ball. And now with their data mining, it's as if the enemies of life have the perfect vantage point to inject their corruption into the thought pattern of your average individual because so many are moving in the flesh and not the spirit. Through the modern sorcery of their technology, they can see into the hearts and minds of the masses and their vision is crystal clear. Crystal clear. Crystal clear. Crystal is the core electronic component in 5G technology. Its role is to provide high-end reference clock signals and receive transmission signals. 5G technology must be very accurate and efficient in all aspects, so the requirements for the crystal oscillator will be as high as possible. The age of 5G communication, there are huge demands for crystal oscillators in base stations, smartphones, servers, electric power, automotive products and other fields. As the heart of electronic products, crystal oscillators must also be continuously upgraded to meet the higher requirements of 5G network equipment. Recently, the Spellcasters at Atlantic Records, owned by Warner Music Group, released a highly esoteric video to accompany their puppet Cardi B's latest single. Cardi B is turning up the heat in the new music video for her song, Hot Sh and channeling her inner superhero alongside Kanye West and Lil Durk. The rapper is bringing all the futuristic vibes in the visual, that's Cardi towering over her hometown of New York City. This video is military-grade psychological programming, broadcasting the strategies of the Illuminous. In one of the most critical scenes, we see a transhumanoid, digitally augmented Cardi B, the Crystal Witch, representing the feminine spirit that reigns over New York City, celebrating her new relationship with modern technology. Iron and Clay. They are revealing that their so-called goddess, Ishtar, Columbia, Lady Liberty, is really the prince of the power of the air harnessing signals and frequencies to interface with the collective psyche of mankind and seduce the masses. Cardi depicts the chief goddess of the spirits who inhabit the crystal components, which enable the 5G tower to channel her sorcery. And because they have to tell you, the satanic social engineers have come right out and proclaimed as above, so below. This is modern warfare. Now, Cardi rocks a few different outfits in the video, but it's this Ice Queen look catching gamers' eyes, because that right there is a pendant featuring the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 character, Simon Ghost Riley. I don't know what's called them in my heart or my necklace. And get this, it even caught the attention of Call of Duty's Twitter account. Changing up a lyric from the track, they tweeted, Go so poppin', don't gotta be introduced. I'm so poppin', I don't ever gotta get Even the Modern Warfare logo displays the two pillars and the as above, so below triangle symbolism. Amplified by the demonic crystal towers, in this scene, Little Dirk spews a barrage of murder mantras on behalf of his multinational corporate controllers at Sony Music Entertainment. So much of the frequencies and death programming is pointed at the young Israelite male. In America's designated kill zones, Chicago, where Little Dirk is from, being one of them. Isis, the once forgotten golden goddess in the desert, is now reinvigorated as Lady Liberty, who's beaten the Big Apple. Kanye demonstrates that his slavery is his choice as he voluntarily dances on an ocean of graphene, completing the not-so-hidden message 
that the crystal towers will trigger the black goo which will induce the violence, modern warfare. The Crystal Witch. The Crystal Witch. And Beyonce displays all the signs of a high level witch sent forth to crystallize the conjuring. Florence, from Florence and the Machine, also shows all the signs of a high priestess who presides over many lesser witches, for she displayed a crystal skull back in her 2011 video, No Light, No Light. A crystal skull is one of the most sought after occult relics from the ancient world, and now she is spiritually proclaiming in her 2022 video, King, that the horror Babylon is king. We cover this subject in much more depth in our latest video presentation, Lust and War. What crystals to go get and how to set them up. That we needed a gateway for them to be able to come in and out. Three, two, one. Unstable. Excitement and relief as the Large Hadron Collider subsystems whir back into action, setting a new world record. Colliding its first protons again after three years of upgrades faster than ever before. So this device it makes this cleaning in a much more efficient way, more clean without instabilities. And is why instead of having amorphous material put into the beam that can create uh, scattered particles and, and other uh, beam losses, um, inside this device we have a crystal which uh, if it's properly bended and faced to the beam, it can create what we call a, a channeling effect which deviates the hollow particle that we don't want into a downstream absorber in order to catch them. Marina Abramovich is a spirit cooking sadomasochistic sorceress who is now being summoned to employ supernatural forces to smite the Red Bear of the East. On Wednesday evening, the Israeli and Ukrainian presidents gathered for an official ceremony for the unveiling of a new interactive memorial, Crystal Wall of Crying, by world-renowned performance artist Marina Abramovich. My name is Marina Abramovich. I was born in Yugoslavia, a country which thrived on the cultures from the West and Russia from the East. Last years I work in Ukraine and I get to know the people there. They're proud, they're strong and they're dignified. I have a full solidarity with them in this impossible day. Attack to Ukraine is attack to all of us, is attack to humanity, and have to be stopped. Crystal Wall of Crying by world-renowned performance artist Marina Abramovic. The wall is meant to be a symbolic extension of the Wailing Wall in Jerusalem and incorporates crystals from the Ukraine and Brazil in an interactive installation. The 40 meter long structure now stands in a park built over the site of the Babanyar Ravine. It's, it's a really wall for healing and it's wall to remember and it's wall to public to actually inter interact all the time. Here you have to touch, you have to interact, you have to turn and you have to you know confront yourself with yourself and your own memory. So it's a very different way of seeing seeing art.
closing, we must pray that we be granted the spiritual discernment and Holy Spirit inspired vigilance so we will be able to see things as they truly are and not just as they appear to be. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare is not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. It takes so long to get back home Cause I know we gonna fight That's the way that I know that the love is gone She texts him back. No. Not sorry. I'm not sorry. She says. How could you be so foolish? So foolish. They can't quite pinpoint the, love is gone. the source of their rage. Something's weighing heavy. But something is there. This ain't healthy. Toxic. I won't compromise. Oh, no. The love is gone. The love is gone. Please don't blame me. It's your fault. Close to 5,000 documents previously classified. Something. Something is fueling the fight. It was in this atmosphere that the search for mind control began. She says, I won't compromise. Of course he responds. President Joe Biden and his son Hunter's dealings in Ukraine. Now marriage rates in the U.S. are at historic lows. You're the problem. So many are unaware that there is something much bigger at play here. Woe to the city of blood, full of lies, full of plunder, never without victims. The crack of whips, the clatter of wheels. That's me. Galloping horses and jolting chariots, charging cavalry, flashing swords and glittering spears. Many casualties, piles of dead, bodies without number, people stumbling over the corpses, all because of the wanton lust of a prostitute. That's me. Alluring the mistress of sorceries who enslaved nations by her prostitution and peoples by her witchcraft. King Lyrics, quote, I am no mother, I am no bride, I am king. King, that's me, I am skin. I'm everything, King. All wars start in the spirit realm first. King, that's me. I am skin. I'm everything, King. That's me. World War Three. I am has already begun. Skin I'm everything King They have already chosen a side And pledged their allegiance Bow down to your king That's me 
trust me I am I'm everything you wish me I am After a series of unexplainable file disappearances, hardware failures, and the suspicious crash of our main hard drive, we have returned to deliver a message that some very powerful entities, whether carnal or spiritual, do not want us to deliver. So at long last, we are excited to be able to present our latest video presentation, Lust and War. Through a painstaking process of digital search and retrieval, We've been able to rebuild and recreate this very important message piece by piece. We have combined the two-part series into one powerful presentation. It's an hour and 47 minutes of eye-opening and spiritually challenging information. So we invite you to join our research and discernment community as we decode and expose the secret signs and symbols hidden in plain sight. Symbols that forecast the enemy's next move. If you would like to support our work and view our latest presentation, Lust and War, is now available on our Patreon and our websites. The links are in the description box below. Thank you for your support. <laughs>